in science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to calculate your Q1, your Q3, and your IQR, the interquartile range. So let me quickly go through the steps and then I'll work an example. Step one is order the numbers from least to greatest. Step two will identify the extremes. Step three will find the median of the data set. Then step four, we will find the Q3 or the upper quartile. This is the median of the upper half of the data and you will only use the data to the right of the original median for this step. And then step five, we'll do the same thing but for Q1. And then we will calculate the IQR or the interquartile range by subtracting the lower quartile Q1 from the upper quartile Q3. And here's our list of numbers, okay? And so what I did was I went ahead and put them in the um, put them in order from least least to greatest, okay? So step 1 is identify the extremes. So the extremes are 65 and 100 okay so I can write extremes 65 and 100 okay step 3 is I'm gonna find the median of the data set and I'm gonna do that by crossing uh, numbers out so I'm gonna cross these out okay and now I am left with 2 so when you are left with two, whenever you have an even number, because if you count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just take an average of the two numbers, and that will be 80 plus 82, which is 162, and then I'll divide that by two, and that equals 81. So the median equals 81 okay now step four is I'll find Q3 or the upper quartile okay so what I will do is I will um, you need the same number in each quartile so I have one two three four five one two three four five so I won't write the medium 81 there I'll just go with the numbers that you have so this will be Q3 and this set will be Q1 okay and so now to find the median of this uh, and I'm gonna rewrite these numbers so it's not as messy I have 82 85 90 95 and 100 okay so I'm gonna cross them off like I did before and the median is 90 so I will label that Q3 equals 90. Now I'm going to rewrite Q1. I have 65, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 70 is your Q1. Okay. And then for my IQR, I just take, uh, let me write this here, sorry. I just take Q3 and subtract Q1 and that equals 20 and that is your IQR okay now let me point one thing point one thing out if I had an, um, an odd number say 65 70 75 80 and 82 and I needed to divide it into a Q1 and Q3 so the median is 75 and so what I would do it would not be included in Q3 and it would not be included in Q1 okay because you need the same number in each so anyway I hope that helps with Q1 Q3 and your IQR Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.